Right, this is another question that came out in one of the years. Now, I want us to look at this one. So, we are given f of x, which is log x plus a, where a is greater than 0. s is 1 over 3, the negative 1, the point is given. Then they say to us, prove that the value of a is equal to a 3. So now, it means we must find the value of a, and we expect the value of a to be a 3, and we are given f of x. So what are we going to do? We are going to go to f of x, and we are going to substitute the point that lies on the graph of f. So what are we going to say? We are going to say, in f of x, I have log of x plus a, I will substitute a point which says 1, that and what, and the negative 1. Now, let's see. It means in my y, I'm putting a negative 1, but in my x, I'm putting a what now? A 1 over 3. Now, how do we solve this one? A is your base, and this is your negative 1 is equal to 1 over 3. Now, it's a matter of solving here. It's up to you. If I have a to the power of negative 1, I can say this is a to the power of negative 1, which is 1 now. 3 to the power of negative 1. Now the exponents are the same. Therefore, the value of a has to be a positive 3. There, we have the 3. B writes down the equation of h, okay, the inverse of f in the form. Oh, now that we know what is a, they want us to give the inverse of f. Remember, if f is a log graph, it means the inverse is an exponential graph. So what are we going to say here? We know that our f of x now is log of x base 3. What is the inverse of this graph? We know to find the inverse of this graph, we must reflect along the line which says y is equal to x. It means here we are putting what? Your x is equal to log y base 3. Therefore, my equation will say y is equal to 3 to the power of what now? Of x. And that is the equation of the inverse of f, which is what? Which is h of x. So this is h of x equals to 3 to the exponent x. Then c. If g of x is equal to a negative f of x, right? Determine the equation of g. They tell us that g is negative f of x. So what are we going to do here? We are going to say our g of x is negative f of x. And we know what is f of x. So let us substitute what is f of x. So this is negative. Then instead of f of x, I'm going to substitute what now? Log of x base 3. So what is going to be my equation then? It's going to say negative log x base 3 and this is what? My g of x. Then done. Write down the domain of g. The domain of this graph here. Now you need to be very careful here. To see this graph is saying g of x is equal to negative log x base 3. So how do you find the domain? If the graph is given like that, it's a log graph. It's easy to keep the domain. Always remember, this value that is here must always be positive. This value must always be positive. It means our domain is going to say x must always be greater than what? To 0. Let me repeat this one. If I have a log graph, the domain of a log Look at x. This value that is here must always be positive. Therefore, I'm saying this x must always be greater than zero. Therefore, that is going to be my domain there. Determine the values of x if f of x is greater or equal to what now? Negative 3. You take. Do you have a point in your graph where you have a, a, a negative 3? If you look at the graph, that point is not there. So what are you going to do? You're going to say now, I want the values of x where f of x is greater or equal to a negative 3. So you will find the critical point first. Because the critical point, the point is not given there. So we'll start by finding the critical point. How do you find the critical point? You let f of x 
v equals to negative 3. But what is my f of x? My f of x is given as what? It is log x base 3, which must be a negative 3. Then we are going to find x here. It means my x is 3 to the power of a negative 3. This is always the base, remember? It means our x is what now? 1 over 27. So what is our critical point? It says x is 1 over 27 and what is y there? y is a negative 3. Now we need to go to the graph. This is the graph of f that we are using. Now that we know the critical point, we plot that point. 1 over 3 and what? 1 over 27 and what? And a negative 3. It's a point. Let's say this point is here in our f. What must be this point? 1 over 27 and a negative 3. What do we want? We want the y value to be greater or equal to a negative 3. So if you are here, where are you going to find the y values above or equal to a negative 3? So from here, moving in this direction, we have y values which are always going to be greater than and greater than negative 3. So what is happening to the values of x if you move in this direction? The values of x are becoming greater than what? Now, 1 over 27. So what is our answer there? Our answer must then say, therefore, the value of x must be greater or equal to what now? 1 over 27 and this is the solution for our E.